What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today we did receive a small update. I will link these patch notes down in the description below as always. But this is a, a very small update. It does have a good bit of changes in it, but it's nothing too big. I think on my PS4 it was just barely over one gig to download this. But DICE did state uh, a lot more changes will be coming with the larger update on June the 26th. But this was some things they wanted to get out of the way before then. Of course, today they did do some more balancing for Anakin. They reduced the duration of his choke during retribution from 4 seconds to 2 seconds. His retribution does not charge up based on damage received during Heroic Might. Heroic Might no longer deals increased damage. The ability's radius will still increase in distance as he takes damage, but it will no longer deal increased damage. Increased base damage of Heroic Might against heroes was buffed from 70 to 90 but the re they reduced his damage of heroic might when fighting against troopers from 130 to 120. they also did some changes with the darth maul now when he throws his lightsaber he will throw it horizontally instead of vertically this, this will create a much wider hitbox for his attack so while doing this they did nerf the furious throw ability they said they reduced the damage from 150 to 75 because of the ability's improved accuracy. I don't know if 150 to 75 is too much. If this really does give you a lot more accuracy, a lot better hitbox detection with that horizontal throw, the 75 uh, damage really won't matter. But they may have to bump that back up if it is a, it is a pretty substantial uh, buff in, 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 or nerf in damage, but it is a pretty substantial buff in the ability to throw horizontally instead of vertically. They also reduced the minimum number of players to start some game modes. Blast and Strike now only need four instead of eight players. And Heroes versus Villains only need six instead of eight players to be able to start these modes. Some other improvements they did was some mini-map improvements in Heroes versus Villains. Heroes will now cost the same amount of battle points across all maps. Fixed an issue with Iden's Droid Battery Star Card, giving you the incorrect recharge times. Uh, fixed an issue with Han Solo when he was unable to jump if the sharpshooter ability got canceled or interrupted. And one of the best things they did today to me was the DC-15 LE weapon. Had no crosshairs. I'm sure you guys have witnessed this. If you put the zoom attachment on, you have no crosshairs. They said they fixed an issue now. If the improvement, uh, improved zoom attachment was equipped, you should have those close aiming crosshairs. It is a, that is a weapon that I really like in the heavy class, the DC-15 LE but it was always kind of frustrating to use because once you put that zoom attachment on, you never had any crosshairs when you ADS'd. So hopefully that has been fixed. Also some visual and some animation fixes on a few different things uh, with some skins. Also they fixed an issue for the roof of Camino was allowing players to jump out of the map. So they have also uh, addressed that. That was all that we had today guys. Like I said, just a small update, but some pretty good fixes. Um, I kind of wonder about the Darth Maul fix still. I think the damage uh, decrease might be a bit much, but we'll have to wait and see when we get into the game and play. But I'm kind of curious your guys' thoughts on this new update. Of course, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.